I don't know if you'll believe me, but I was visited by somebody from the future. They came to me and they said, I want you to trust me. And so I did. We started talking about old lovers and funny anecdotes, and they told me about the future, a place that apparently is much better than, than where we are now. I couldn't think of what to say, so I told them a story that someone I used to think I was in love with told me, who also happened to be a compulsive liar. But I told the story anyway. It's a story about Laura Branigan, who has the same first name as my mother. Laura Branigan was in the studio working on a new album, and someone was moving a piano to the second floor. And the piano comes loose, and is coming towards her, and it hits her. Now, she didn't die. She didn't die until much later from totally unrelated causes, but she did quit making music after that. Because I guess making music became dangerous for her, in a sense. I imagine Laura seeing her blood on the floor in the studio where she was supposed to be making music and how right then she knew something, some secret. I don't know if you'll believe me, but this is my blood. And this is for Laura. In the night, no control, through a wall, something breaking, wearing white as you're walking down the street of a soul. You take myself, you take myself control. You got me living only for the night For the morning comes a story so You take yourself, you take myself Something is missing. Huh? 
Hi, friends. Hi friends! We've brought you here today to play a game. It's called Six Truths and a Lie. We'll show you seven queer Chicago filmmakers. And you're going to decide which one is not telling the truth. Red. Hi, I'm Mel, and I lost my head. Orange. Hi, I'm Mary. And I really hate being on camera, so I'm going to wear this mask. Pay attention. It was so weird being in court during all those conspiracy trials. And there was all this evidence of wiretaps and videos of people making plans to buy this and bomb that. And I recognized them all. And I know most of the people in the courtroom did too. Isn't that weird? And nothing came of it. And they weren't even trying to disguise themselves. Yellow. Hi, I'm Frederick, and I love those that I love, who are always beautiful, but sometimes oppressed, but always standing up in revolt. Green. Hi, I'm Michael, and if it's true that the lily springs from the dung heap, then shouldn't we be offended by every place where beauty appears? Hi, I'm Jules, and uh, I am a daughter's mother, but I'm not her female role model. Oh, yeah. Indigo. Hi, I'm Salome. I want this movie to be about real. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Violet. Hey, I'm Latham, and I want you to trust me. Welcome to another episode of It's Just Coffee. I'm your host, Amy Brown, and I'm here today with a very special guest, Latham Zierfuss. Hi. Welcome. Uh, what do you think? Some coffee. Sounds great. So, Latham, tell us about the new project you've been working on. Um, and like, for some reason when I start talking about it, I like blink out. Trust and truth. Yeah. Uh, it deals with um, issues of trust and honesty and um, earning or getting an audience's uh, trust. Also representation, if an image can ever be truthful, honest, um, elements of seduction and repulsion in the work, this push and pull. Um, yeah. Are you now or have you ever been a compulsive liar? Um, I would say growing up in a small town, uh, I was at certain moments, just um, out of necessity. It's just coffee. Do you believe in utopia? I believe in utopia. I've been involved in the queer community, and I'm just interested in utopia. You know the the structures of it. Um, believe in the idea of it, yeah. Ways that people are challenging notions of of gay and lesbian, bisexual, trans. Um. um yeah, like sort of crossing those lines. But are <clears throat> are you a gay white man? It's just coffee. Are you a gay white man? 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 I want you to trust me. I think images images do have the potential to be honest, and you know, that's something I'm, I'm working toward. Um, yeah. 
Excellent. That's that's really good to hear. <laughs> You're pregnant. People have spotted a bump. Talk a bit about. So, you know, um, why are you on national television now? I don't know if I. I mean, it's I. I'm the one doing the interviewing. Like. Yeah, I'm the host. It's just coffee. Latham, I have to say, I love your hair right now. Thanks. It looks really nice. Thanks. Yeah. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe 